the love for game of cricket brought you to 2001 test series uh indeed it was against australia you were not in the playing 11 where in india went on to historically win the series later on so tell us about those fond memories that is associated with that particular game well i do remember that series quite vividly in the sense that it's probably the best series i have played and uh, a lot of uh, fans would agree with me that probably that's the best series india has ever played uh, and it takes me back to the first test match where we we were quite badly beaten by australia under 3 days uh, it was at bombay we were all uh, feeling quite miserable uh, we were all feeling what the hell is happening i mean they were a very good side they were the, they were called the invincibles then they had won about 16 or 17 not test matches consecutively so we knew that we were up against again we were up against a very formidable side but even having said that i mean having known the fact that they are such a good side we for some reason had that belief uh, that we could beat them and we were very happy that the beat is under 3 days uh, it took us a little while to go back to our drawing board in fact i remember very clearly that after the test match we had the chance to go back home uh, so everyone did go back to the respective uh, uh, cities uh, got back to calcutta rejuvenated ready to take out the second test match uh and again we didn't do too well the first innings didn't get too many runs they got a lot of runs uh, and it was the second innings of the test match where uh, we had this uh, outstanding partnership between uh, rahul dravid and bbs uh, lakshman and uh, and that is something which i did i would sit i proudly keep telling everyone that i did contribute uh, on that given day uh, because both these boys were from the south of india both of them knew me very well I played a lot of cricket with BBS Lakshman in my junior cricket, my junior days. Uh, he, him being just a year, year and a half older than me, we played from under 12 to under 13 states, uh, Hyderabad versus Tamil Nadu and all of that. Rahul, not too old either, about three, four years older. He used to come to play in Tamil Nadu in the first division league in India Cements, and I was also playing for India Cements then. So we kind of bonded there. I could speak a lot to Rahul. We had a similar uh, hobby in music. We both used to like English music. We used to share music. We used to kind of ask each other, "What's the music that you have right now? What's the latest and things like that?" And I picked up a lot of things from Rahul because he was just about going to play for India then, and I just about played for India under 19s. So I, I looked at him as a senior player, a mentor whom I could learn from as a batsman. And but we had a bond. We knew each other very well. So each time on that given day, the fourth day of the Test match where uh, Rahul and Lakshman partnership was on. I was the one who kept running in all the time, and both of them were very clear that no matter what happens throughout the day, whenever we ask for something, you keep coming in. Uh, we would like you to keep bringing in to me, be it water, be it bananas, be it a change of T-shirt, be it a towel, be it whatever. And on that given, on that fourth day, those two were batting on the field, and I was stalling hard off the field, running back and forth and back and forth. Wow, that feels like uh, a moment where. probably i was just seeing you get through the emotions um, is there any advice or probably suggestion maybe rahul rahul dravish shared with you that you would like to share along with our viewers so there was this thing at one stage i was uh, i remember after t post even both of them had battled for quite some time because they were batting from the previous day so I, rahul has his habit of cramping and has his habit of uh, losing a lot of body salt and i just got a feeling that he was cramping a little bit at the end of the day and uh, i i just asked uh, rahul casually uh, how are you feeling jam we used to call him jam uh, how are you feeling jam are you okay are you uh, cramping or do i do, do you need a stretch or something this is hema on this given day whether i have a cramp or don't have a cramp i'm not getting out so that really told me how 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 uh, into the match rahul was even uh, lakshman was and then that's the then the on, on the fifth day we put them under pressure they had to get up a 350 odd runs uh, harbhajan singh uh, was again the recurrent chief got up at seven wickets i think in the second innings he got a few in the first also uh, i remember taking steve was catch at the backward short leg and and this just happened a little uh, after the skipper sort of ganguly had dropped uh, steven was the same place and uh, and it so happened that uh, nayan monge the keeper gets hit on the face he has to go off the field i come in as a substitute rahul dravid keeps wickets takes on the gloves i am at backward short leg steven wolf flicks the ball and i take a good catch on my left hand side and i was like thank god i took the catch i would have wanted to face uh, dada's wrath 
One is because it's Stephen Waugh's catch. Two, because Stephen Waugh was dropped earlier, and I didn't want to drop him again. So I uh, thank God I took that catch. But in the end, what a what a match it was. It was an outstanding game of cricket. Uh, finally, we got the better of Australia, uh, one off, and then um, the final game at Chepauk uh, where we beat them. Again, a close game. But uh, those those matches are uh, history in our cricket, and to be a, to have been a part of them, I am very proud of. Them. Though I didn't that's play, but I'm still very proud of. Them. That's that's wonderful. I I'm running out of words possibly to you know express how you've been expressing about your uh, sharing moments with Rahul Dravid or probably getting those advices from uh, Dada. Uh, was Dada even tough back then? Because the mindset of probably Indian players changed that time. It became a little aggressive, and aggressiveness was accepted in the game of cricket. And uh, giving back to the opponents also started on, isn't it? It always wasn't the nice approach or the nice response. What's your take on that? Uh, how was Dada on the field during those situations? Well, I think Dada was instrumental in us changing as a side. Uh, I've always believed, and I've always said this to everyone that I've met, is that uh, Dada, in the sense that the Indian side, we, we were all very good boys. We were very soft uh, boys. Came out of good families with good value system, not to be abusive, not to be rude. Uh, we played hard cricket. We played well with the bat and the ball, but we were never the types who would really uh, get aggressive on the field. Say a few words, even if the opponents did say a few things, we would just about ignore it. But Tala was the one who said, "Why are we taking all this nonsense and keeping quiet? We are not starting it. But if somebody has started it, yes, I do understand that it's in our culture to not uh, talk back and not be aggressive. But it's it's a sport, and the entire nation wants us to fight and put on a put on a front where they know that we also are giving it back to them. We can't just keep staying quiet." Uh, keep being nice boys, and I think that is what Dada brought in the side. It, it, he brought in that aggressive streak. He made Stephen Waugh wait for a toss. The Kolkata Test match, she did not go in time. Stephen Waugh was right at the middle, uh, waiting for the toss to happen. Dada said, "Nothing doing. Let him wait. I am in Eden Gardens. This is Calcutta. This is my city. Let let it be Stephen Waugh. Let that be anyone else." He and he made him wait. So that was the change that he got into us. I mean something as simple as this. I being the twelfth man in the second innings when I came on the field, Dada knew that I could speak English, and a lot of the guys in the national side at, the, at that point in time could not speak much. He comes and tells me that hey man, I want you to finger Stephen Waugh. I want you to start being a little aggressive to him, uh, start talking to him and irritating him. I, I just looked at Dada and I said, Dada, me? I haven't played a Test match. I haven't made my debut yet, and you. Want me to speak to Stephen Waugh, the captain of the Australian side, the formidable side? He's got thousands of runs at at the highest level, and I haven't even done any of that. And you want me to speak to him and and needle him? Because Dada knew my background. I used to needle a lot of uh, of the domestic players in the domestic circuit, so he knew I could do it and I could do it well. I've done that with Dada itself in a couple of matches when I played against him. So Dada knew I could do it, but I I felt a little. Uh, I've taken aback in the sense that how do I talk to Stephen Watt or try and get under his skin? He's played so much cricket, but when I had Dada's blessings and his uh, uh, permission, in fact, he was the one who told me I didn't hold back. I started talking to Stephen Watt. I started saying that look, finally the journey is done. You guys can't win in India. It's about time that you guys are going to lose and this and that. And maybe to some extent he would have got a little vexed at thinking he didn't he didn't emote much. Steve being Steve. But I'm pretty sure he would have thought, who is this goddamn guy? He hasn't even played a test match, doesn't even play in this match, but comes in as a substitute and starts talking to me, starts sledging me. But anyways, that was uh, that was how uh, Dada brought in that change. He made us aggressive. He gave us that go ahead. He made us that you you guys can't just be good players. You'll have to be harsh on the field, tough on the field. I'm not asking you to start a war. But if somebody brings the war to you, take it to them. Positive sledging is always good, and change is the variety. That's that's the spice that's required in life, and I think change is always good for the good.